Sarah from the blog Rocky Hedge Farm and today I'm super excited to be over in the garden area because one of the things that I really wanted to add to this space is a chicken coop and get our chickens moved over here. And here recently I just teamed up with Orsland's Farm and Home. They are a locally owned company in our area and they provided us with a chicken coop and so um, my husband and I got together the other night and we put this thing together and it turned out beautifully. I'm going to show you guys the process of putting that together and then give you guys a little tour. So this chicken coop is pretty good size. When we went and picked it up from Orsland's, it came in three boxes. It fit into the bed of our truck. And then when we got it home, we unloaded it. We opened up all of the boxes. We laid out all of the pieces. We looked at the instructions. We marked off all the things. Um, just double checking again that we had everything that we needed, including the screws and that every piece was there. And we organized it so that it would make it easier to build and easier to see what we were working with. Once we got every single piece laid out on the ground, we began the building process. husband on. Um, he's the muscle behind a lot of the things that happen here at Rocky Hedge Farm and so we had a lot of fun putting this together. We laughed and um, just had a really great time but all in all I found that the project was very easy to put together. The roof was probably the hardest thing of all. It definitely took both of us to hold the pieces in there um, to get them where they were even and no gaps but we managed to do that and we got it all together. So now I'm going to take you guys on a little tour of the coop to show you what it looks like before we put our chickens in there. And then I will also have a part two of this series um, where I show us decorating around the outside of it. We're going to do a couple of flower beds and just make it a beautiful place for our chicks to live. So of course this is the exterior of the coop. This side right here has a little window that you can actually open up. Probably one of the neatest features is the easy to clean roosting area. That tray right there just pulls out. You can dump it, wash it off, and um, make sure that it's clean before you put it back in underneath their roosting area. Then this is the run area for the coop. You can tell that they have a couple of perching areas right here. There's also two ladders for them to climb to get up into um, one side, which is where they can roost, and then the other side is the nesting boxes. There's also a door right here on the back that we can open up to let them out into the garden area. And then this section is actually where the nesting boxes are located. There is a latch right here that you just open up that's where we can just get all of the eggs without ever having to go inside of the coop. Just below the nesting boxes is another little door area that opens up. There's also a roosting bar down here as well. We can also open this door in order to let the chickens out. the coop it also has a door and a latch that allows us to walk inside to clean the pen or to tend to the chickens with feed and water um, or whatever else we may need to take care of in there. excited to get ready to decorate around it. We're going to be adding a couple of more flower bed areas and incorporating the ones that are already on either side and just pulling this entire area together to look cohesive and giving our chickens a beautiful place to live. And again, thank you to our locally owned Orschlands Farm and Home for providing the coop 
and given our chickens this space. And a huge thank you to my followers for taking the time just to stop by today to see what we've been up to here on the farm. Don't forget to hit subscribe below and you can also visit the blog at RockyHedgeFarm.com to see more of the details of this space and so much more. Thanks for joining today, guys.